It's one of the best ones around here. Okay, we're gonna do an install on this well. This has a split cap, not a traditional uh, sanitary cap. So it's gonna be a little more interesting, a little more involved. And uh, this is what it looks like beforehand. You got your electric coming in here, and then you have a submersible pump inside there. This well is 78 feet deep. This is a close-up of the cap. You have an electrical J-box. Oh yeah. Yeah, I made it back the next day, actually. I, I didn't know where that jerky place was in Cave Junction. I, I think I did, to let some people buy. So this is just a safety rope? Yeah. Rule number one around wells is don't drop anything into the well. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Screws right into it, huh? Yep, screws right in there, and then there's a lock nut. A lock nut. Do we pull? That's all. So when you get this home, you're going to edit it. Ready? Yep. What is that? Center punch. Pump don't pick up all those metal filings. Well, actually, bring it up just a little bit. Want me to pull it up? Pump it through about there. Just hold it right there. Okay. So good. It's, so it sits up that high. Well, uh, we'll probably adjust it a little bit lower, but it's a lot easier to go down with gravity than... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because if I have to pull it 25 times, I'll be going, wow. There you go. This is the smiley face. This is the, yeah.
Why your batteries lasting that long? Well, I can tell you, I've, I've made some pretty good cheap buys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it depends. PVC glue. And well, I'll tell you what. I'm not a plumber. <laughs> controls. $99. Chicago Electric. In place, huh? Should just be yeah. rubber. Green met wires doesn't need to be connected, huh? Stop, 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 stop. Trouble. <laughs> Trouble in River City? Yeah, knots this bottom plate. Split four. See, see how it goes right on. Yep. It fit on there before. Well, because the of this. Well, yeah, this pipe is <laughs> hard okay. against it. Hard against it. Oh, boy. I'll just split it? I'm just going to cut it like here and here. I got it. Okay. Oh, oh geez. It's the shorts. <laughs> what? Hmm. So the rubber needs to be notched also, doesn't it? How do we do that with a knife? Rubber gasket. Yeah, but now it won't be sealed. All the bugs are going to get in there. Uh, no, we... We have a... More contingency plans? We have tricks up our sleeve. <laughs> I'll get some of that spray. Oh, that's simple, huh? That's metal on metal there, so... Put something around that. Is that connecting to something inside too? It's pulling that upper plate, that oh. bottom plate up, and it's squeezing the rubber. Oh, out I get like it. That. Makes for a great seal, but it makes for a lousy secondary pumping. Look like you've done this before. How's that? To the bane. To the bone. <laughs> you doubted me. <laughs> Alright. Since it's pumping from such a deeper depth. The water's not coming up. That's probably pretty high for you. For a lot of folks. We're going to drop this down. Let's see if we can slide this down. Oops. Not too bit, far? A little bit of flex in it. I thought you were just going to whip a Molly Hogan on there. No, we got to use these little clampy things. It's going to use. <laughs> I hope the electricity went in over here, huh? Um, more than likely not. It's probably going from that. Well, I know where it goes. But, you know, <laughs> the way you did that, who knows? Maybe you wrapped it around the thing. How critical is that? Not very. 
This is, we want it to be, we want, there's a little bit of flex involved here because uh -huh. it's, it's a single articulated lever. If it's double, then you can have something that goes straight up and straight down. That gets expensive real quick. So we have a single one where this will absorb that alignment. The, well, so we want it to be aligned when it's down at the bottom. You want it to be Maybe one time. Yeah, I got a bunch of cords. So. Oh, okay. We're just gonna put the loop in there and the bolt. Just through. Put the loop in there and put the bolt through it. Uh huh. So there is a little nylon spacer Machine? in there that yeah. you don't want to lose. Put that in there. Yeah, I'm going to have to put something on there or the grandkids will be on that. I have to take that off, probably. <laughs> well, the instructions do say that uh, if you have livestock or children, <laughs> um, you need to take a build fence around it. Here are your instructions of what we just did. <laughs> you just let it go. Well, and then when you, you know, you pull it up and you go down, then you have to wait for a second. Or just let it fall itself? Yeah, well, it's, it take, you can feel it. There we right go. There. See, it's drained a little bit. Well. But you know, water's water. You got to say, you're going to have good, clean drinking water, no matter what. So, when you mix your concrete, just make sure everything's plumb. Yep. You want this kind of lined up as best you can. Right. Um, Even if it's off a little. You know, that's not too bad right there. Yeah, I got you. Okay, and then... Same thing this way. As you pump, it'll push this out a little bit because... Right. And then the flex of it will, will take care of things. You may want to put a plug in there, keep maybe keep the bugs out. Yeah. If you want. Um, you can wrap a little piece of duct tape around there to keep things clean, but... Basically, all you got to do right now is mix some concrete, stick it in the hole, and make sure everything's plumbed and level, and... That's it. You're in business. You can sleep at night now. <laughs> Knowing that if it hits the fan tomorrow, I got water.